Welcome to another edition of Swim Easy Speed. My name is Tim Floyd, longtime swim coach uh, and triathlon coach. Uh, and here today, we're going to go over a drill. It's kind of a very old school drill, um, not really used too terribly much anymore. Um, but it's called zipper drill. Sometimes it's known as uh, red line. Um, and basically with this drill, what we're trying to do is you're going to drag that thumb up the armpit or up the side into your armpit. And we're really overemphasizing the high elbow recovery. Um, part of the reason that, you know, 20, 30 years ago, um, you know, the recovery, the high elbow was kind of very much emphasized in swimming. Um, so it was that kind of entry right there, that kind of recovery over the top. So you can see if you do that thumb drag all the way over the top, um, you get that very, very high uh, elbow recovery. Now, it, it really gives you a lot more mobility in the water. You can work on mobility. Part of the problem or, or why it's faded a little bit is um, because you really risk uh, some shoulder injuries if you don't do it really, really right. Um, or if that's kind of the way you swim all the time. So, you know, the what we're just trying to do is get those arms and hands and shoulders, everything, the whole body aligned to go really, really straight down the pool um, or straight down kind of the open water. And, you know, you just drag that thumb. You always want to wear fins just to give you a little bit extra um, um, speed on the water so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, sinking as much. Um, but then here's some of the things that you really want to focus on uh, in, the, in this drill. I'll come up here in a second. Uh, so you're going to lengthen out on the water. You always want to create tension in the core. And what I mean by tension is kind of the, that tension that you'd have in your core if you were standing upright. What you're going to do uh, is what you want to emphasize or focus on is drag the thumb up the side of the body, almost like you're pulling a zipper all the way up. And that red line came about because, you know, coaches wanted you to draw almost like a red line with that thumb up the side of your body. Hand should enter in about shoulder width apart. And then this can be a really good way to bookend the recovery portion of a stroke if an athlete recovers wide. And what I say by bookend is it gives um, kind of the athlete an I, a better idea of, you know, if that's the extreme on one end where we're doing this zipper drill um, and they normally recover wide, it's a little bit easier than for a coach to say, hey, put it somewhere in, in between uh, the zipper drill and where you're recovering now. Uh, and then it can also give them an idea of, um, you know, how to enter in shoulder width apart. It, it kind of keeps everything going very, very straight. So if you have an athlete that may be crossing over a little bit, this might be an, another way to, to help them out. Um, and then it can also help athletes with uh, limited shoulder mobility, um, give them a little bit more uh, kind of movement through the shoulders, scapular region, uh, thoracic region in general. So. Um, those are kind of some of the highlights for this drill. And, uh, as always, um, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, um, always happy to answer those. Please subscribe down below and, uh, we will see you the next time.